Hello, my name is Len Bear, also known as, as at P. Sardonicus on Twitter. And this is the first installment of Science of Neuroweapons for July 13, 2022. Today, I will summarize a November 2021 blog by Professor Robert McCrate of Penn State University. Professor McCrate is a national security advisor and an expert in chemical and biological weapons, as well as nuclear weapons, crisis management, strategic intelligence, and national security leadership. He is widely published and well-respected in his area of expertise. Professor McCrate is perhaps best known for his prophetic quote dating back to 2014. And I read, should we risk waiting until the first, uh, the first tangible evidence of neuroweapons research has landed on the front page of a major newspaper and CNN, question mark? What measures should we, <laughs> should we be contemplating even now to anticipate and prepare for this eventuality? End of quote. And that is indeed what happened with Havana syndrome. But the title of uh, the blog I'm reviewing today is uh, Cognitive Warfare 2021, Latent Alliance Threats in Neurostrike and Havana Syndrome. And you can find a link to it uh, in the description of the video. In his blog, Professor McCrate warns NATO that cognitive warfare using directed energy neuroweapons is already operating silent, silently among us, redefining what a true act of war really is. He writes, what must be recognized and assigned high significance to is the use of technologies specifically designed to degrade human cognitive function. I'd like to emphasize that again, specifically designed for the degradation of human brain. I think understanding and acceptance of this concept is largely missing from our medical, scientific, and public discourse. And so we look for explanations elsewhere, like environmental factors, because we have not changed our thinking about the intentionality of this technology. I think it's time to change our mindset in order to better understand what's going on, Professor McCrate suggests a new term, neurostrike. I personally appreciate this new terminology because it helps us to start thinking about the situation in terms of intentional attacks. He also introduces a concept of neurostrike weapon, which he defines as neurocognitive disruptor designed to harm, disable, or permanently damage human brain. Havana syndrome is discussed using this new framework with pulsed microwaves as a central theory behind what National Academy of Sciences and experts say triggers Havana syndrome. He cites other experts who remind us that microwaves can be focused into narrow field of view beams in order to target individuals and induce disruption in brain tissue, producing subsequent behavioral and cognitive dysfunction. In addition, pulse microwaves may alter blood brain permeability disrupt long-term synaptic potentiation and result in DNA strand breaks. 
McCrate calls this technology insidious, stealthy, and largely undetectable, capable of causing devastating cognitive degradation. He predicts once again that after 2021, neurostrike technologies will dramatically alter all prior theories of combat or the use of non-lethal force on both civilian and military human targets. This is not a threat for future decades, he writes. It operates even now. Detection, defense, deterrence, and defeat of neurostrike systems ought to be ought to become one of our highest priorities. I couldn't agree more, Professor McCrate. Please send your questions and comments via Twitter, where my handle is at PSardonicus. Until next time.